Time to take a quick break from the Monday grind. It's DT Daily. I'm Casey Montoya. Coming up, Apple announces dividends for investors. The FAA plans to reconsider the gadget ban on airplanes. Mega uploads Kim.com may catch a lucky break thanks to police paperwork errors. Net Zero debuts contract free 4G and more. If you've invested in Apple stock, today is a happy day. Apple announced it will spend a portion of its $98 billion in cash to pay out dividends to investors. Starting this July, investors will receive quarterly dividends of $265 per share or yearly dividends of $1060. The Cupertino giant will also spend up to $10 billion over the next three years to buy back stock. During the same period, it plans to invest $45 billion into domestic cash to help grow its business. Despite the massive spending spree, Apple CEO Tim Cook assures that the electronics maker will still have plenty of cash to run the business. Good news for travelers. The FAA tells the New York Times it plans to take a fresh look at its ban on the use of tablets, music players, and e-readers during takeoff and landing. Following a wave of public outcry over the no electronics guidelines, the FAA says it will take over testing of these devices itself, an expensive task previously undertaken by individual airlines. But don't get too excited just yet. The potential rule change will unfortunately not apply to mobile phones, despite evidence that these devices cause no interference for aircrafts. Mega Upload co-founder Kim.com may have just gotten a lucky break. A judge in New Zealand ruled Friday that the court order which allowed police to confiscate luxury cars, jewelry, electronics, and millions of dollars in assets is null and void due to a procedural error by police when they filed that paperwork. A judge has granted a temporary order that allows the government to keep dot-com's assets for now, but said she would rule soon whether the screw-up means the alleged piracy king will get his possessions back. If you're looking for a new mobile broadband, there's now a new option in town. Net Zero, which became famous a decade ago for offering free dial-up internet, has launched its own USB modem and mobile hotspot that offer 200 megs of data per month for free. The service, which runs on WiMAX 4G, costs $20 a month for one gig of data, but comes with no contract. What may be more surprising than the deal? Net Zero still exists. The first full-length trailer for Prometheus has hit the web, and sci-fi fans are salivating. Director Ridley Scott describes the film as a distant prequel to the Alien franchise he created in 1979 with slight connections to the older film. A star-studded cast is confirmed and includes Michael Fassbender, Charlize Theron, Guy Pearce, Idris Elba, and Numi Rapace, who gained fame for appearing in the Swedish Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. You can find the full trailer right here on Digital Trends in the links below. That's all. Thanks for watching. And if you missed it this weekend, be sure to check out our test drive of the new 2013 Ford Mustang and check back later today for our review of Paradigm Shift E3M earphones.